Hello, I'm Atujamin and watching on Real TV Spam at 9. As votes were counted on Sunday across six states for a bipolar held recently in seven assembly constituencies, the PJP gained in a major area of seats. In Haryana and Uttar Pradesh, candidates of the ruling PJP were leading as soon as initial trends came in. Telangana saw a close contest between the ruling Telangana Russia Samiti and the rival PJP, but eventually the KCR's party backed the seat. While in Bihar, the RJT managed to retain the Mukama seat as the PJP's Kusum Devi won in Kubal Kanch. Maharashtra saw a win for Team Udav Thackeray in the first elections held after the collapse of his government earlier this year. In Haryana's Adampur, PJP candidate Bhava Bishnoi, the grandson of former Haryana Chief Minister Bajan Lal won with a margin of 16,000 votes. In Telangana, Kusu Kundla Prabhagar, ready off the ruling TRS, won the pie poll to Mukode Assembly segment. The TRS candidate defeated his nearest PJP rival, Komati Reddy Rajkopal Reddy. The southern state saw a seesaw between the PJP and the TRS. In New Pihe, the PJP's Am Giris, Arvind Giris' son, maintained a lead in the constituency as counting proceeded on Sunday and finally won the seat. Giri also surpassed his father, Arvind Giri's victory margin of polls held earlier this year. In Bihar, PJP candidate Kusum Devi defeated the RJT's Mohan Prasad. While in Orissa, the PJP won the Dham Nagar Assembly by polls by 9,881 votes, defeating the PJT. PJP's Surya Banshi Suraj got 80,351 votes, while PJD's Abanti Das received 70,470 votes. Nirmala Sitaraman, the Minister of Finance, said on Saturday that the centre might be thinking about giving Jammu and Kashmir statehood again. PM Modi adopted the Finance Commission's report in full, which is why now states receive 42% of the tax revenue, which has been reduced to 41% as a result of Jammu and Kashmir's demise as a state. It will soon become into a perhaps at some point, said Sitaraman. The 14th Finance Commission submitted a report in 2015 and said what was still then being given, which is 32% of all tax collected should be given to the states, was changed to 42% all at one go. Meaning, till then, if out of every 100 rupees that was collected from tax, 32 rupees had to go to the states. That Finance Commission said, now you raise it to 42%, which means the centre will have lesser amount in its hand. Prime Minister Modi, without a second thought about it, fully accepted that Finance Commission. And that is why today states get 42% of the amount, now reduced by 141% because JNK is no longer a state. It will soon become maybe sometime. Tiprasa will agree to form an alliance only if any political party give a written promise to return the people's rights, said TIPRA Motha Supremo Maharaj Pratyud Kishore Deva Varman. Addressing the press conference on Sunday, Deva Raman said that for the upcoming 2023 assembly elections, any political party has to make written promises to form an alliance with the party, else it will fight alone. He added that Tiprasa is not fighting for power. There's been no discussion. Of course, uh, people come individually and talk to me, but there's been no discussion uh, at any level to uh, say that there will be an alliance. Our line is very clear. We are fighting for our constitution solution and a demand for greater Tipra land for our survival and existence. That is the demand. Anyone who gives it to us in writing, we will consider it. If they don't give it to us in writing, there's no problem. We will fight on our own and we will see after that. If there is a call for a state, not an alliance. Pinaki, I'll tell you something. The indigenous people, the Tiprasa people are not fighting for power. We are fighting for rights. We are fighting for a survival and existence. Those people, which have rights before, they fight for the power of power. We don't have rights before. Before you get rights, then we fight for the power of power. You give us rights before, then we talk about the power of power. We talk about the power of power. जिनके पास राइट्स है वो लोग पावर के लिए फाइट करते हैं हमारे पास राइट्स नहीं है
पहले राइट भी हम फाइट करेंगे राइटिंग में दीजिए अपील करने से क्या होता है आप हमको राइटिंग में दीजिए आपका क्या व्यू है हमको क्या दे सकते हैं आप राइटिंग में अपील नहीं देखिए आई एम वेरी कैटेगरी आई एम टेलिंग यू सी आई एम नॉट लाइक अदर नेतास मैं डायरेक्टली बात बोल रहा हूँ मैं अपने लोगों को क्या जवाब दूँ कि uh, हम ग्रेटर तिपेटा के लिए फाइट कर रहे थे अब ऑल ऑफ अ सडन हम सेक्युलर सेक्युलरिज्म के लिए फाइट करेंगे सेक्युलरिज्म तो पहले से हम हैं हमारे पार्टी में मुस्लिम्स हैं एस हैं हिंदुस्तानी हैं बंगालीज भी आ गए हैं तिपरासा से हम तो अपने एरिया में हमने तो सेक्युलर फ्रंट करके तो हमने ए जीता है माय पॉइंट इज दैट कोई भी अगर किसी को भी अलायंस चाहिए तो राइटिंग में बताइए कि आप तिपरासा को क्या कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल राइट देना चाहते हैं राइटिंग में दीजिए वो अपील करने से नहीं होगा राइटिंग में दीजिए अगर आप राइटिंग में नहीं देंगे तो मैं अपने लोगों को जाती Situation turns tense at the National Highway 31 in Assam's Bajali district after the police resort to lathi charge on protesting by members of the Aam Aadmi Party where several members were injured. Members of the AAP had staged massive agitations against the toll gate authorities at Golia in Bajali on Sunday. According to reports, the toll gate authorities attacked the protesters even after the presence of the police. However, the police arrested many protesters and were seen to be protective towards the toll gate authorities the protesters alleged that the golia toll gate was illegal and it should be demolished abaidh korar baje hangra kora bondho kora abaidh kor hangra bondho kora bondho kora ei andolan to byaghar jonno ase amar manu rastat bondho kori dise ei khan amar permission amar dc e permission dise बजाली जिला प्रशासनक टोल गेट कर मितिया A 17-year-old teenage boy killed four persons, including three family members and one neighbor, at Kamalpur area and the Tripura's Delhi district on Saturday afternoon. Superintendent of Police, Delhi district, Ramesh Yadav, said the accused persons has been arrested immediately and he will be produced before the court on Sunday. According to available information, the accused Supriyo Debnat, in a fit of rage, killed his grandfather Badal Debnat, mother Sumita Debnat, sister Suparna Debnat, and his neighbor. Rakha Deep who was posted at the nearby Angawati center his father Haradan Debnat a driver by profession was absent when the gruesome killings took place he came to know about the incident on his return from work locals alleged that the crime was committed under the influence of drugs <laughs> ढाई दवा
ग्यारह बजे के आसपास हमको इन्फॉर्मेशन मिली थी कि शिवबारी जो हलाली के पास में है एरिया वहाँ पर एक हाउस के सामने पिट में एक बॉडी मिली है तो जब वहाँ पर गए वहाँ पर जाके देखा तो फिर एग्जीक्यूटिव मजिस्ट्रेट की हेल्प से और हमारी एफ एस एल टी वहाँ पहुँच चुकी थी उसके बाद में जब एक्सकेवेट किया तो हम वहाँ पर चार बॉडी मिली उनका नाम मैं बता देता हूँ कि एक है बादल देवनाथ समिता देवनाथ सुपर्णा देवनाथ एंड रेखा देव तो इसमें तीन फीमेल है एक मेल है जो एक्यूज है वो माइनर है और उसका नाम तो हम डिस्क्लोज नहीं कर सकते तो उसने इन चारों की चारों का मर्डर किया था एक्यूज को हमने अरेस्ट कर लिया है और अभी वो कस्टडी में है और बाकी सीन रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन वगैरह भी चल रहा है और केस नंबर इसका सिक्सटी थ्री है हमने सेक्शन थ्री जीरो टू टू जीरो वन आईपीसी में केस रजिस्टर किया है कमल Head of Assembly polls in Himachal Pradesh, the Bharat Janata Party on Sunday released its manifesto for the Hill State. The Sankal Patra was released by PJP President J.P. Nada in Shimla's Hotel, Peterhof. Chief Minister J. Ram Thakur, Union Minister Anurag Thakur and State President Suresh Kashyap were also present during the event. In its manifesto, the Saffron Party has laid down 11 commitments, which includes uniformity in society, empowerment of farmers and youths, justice to government employees and promoting religious tourism. If there are 1,37,000,000 people in the Himachal Pradesh, they have been doing the work of तो हमने कहा नहीं था लेकिन जयराम ठाकुर जी ने मुख्यमंत्री गृहिणी सुविधा योजना के तहत तीन लाख तेईस हजार लोगों को जोड़ा है हमको अच्छी तरीके से याद है जब हम कहते थे कि सर्वांगीण विकास होगा और एम्पावरमेंट होगा तो हमको यह भी याद रखना चाहिए कि घर घर नल के तो छोड़िए मोहल्ले मोहल्ले नल के लग जाए इसकी भी हमारी से डिमांड हुआ करती थी और आज हम हर घर नल का इसके तहत हम आगे बढ़े हैं एंड आई एम हैप्पी टू शेयर विथ यू दैट 96 परसेंट ऑफ हर घर नल का हैज बीन कंप्लीटेड इन हिमाचल प्रदेश दिस इज द सिचुएशन अगर हम बात करें अटल पेंशन योजना की तो लगभग दो लाख अस्सी हजार लोगों ने इसका भी लाभ उठाया है ये प्रधानमंत्री मातृत्व सुरक्षा अभियान जो है इसमें लगभग तीन लाख बहनों ने हिमाचल प्रदेश में इसका लाभ उठाया है और मैं जब इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर की बात करता हूं और अरुण जेटली जी की बात को कहता हूं तो आई एम हैप्पी टू शेयर विथ यू दैट इन पास्ट फाइव इयर्स सिक्स थाउजेंड हमारे रूरल रोड्स बने हैं जयराम ठाकुर जी के नेतृत्व में और छः हजार हमारे किलोमीटर्स की सड़क बनी है इस तरीके की बात हुई है इसलिए मैं यह भी कहना चाहता हूं कि जो इन लोगों ने और हम लोगों ने मिलकर जो तय किया है कि राज नहीं रिवाज बदलेंगे As 20 students and four teachers from various schools in Kohima came back from an from an enriching 10 day experience Kohima Battalion of Assam Rifles under the aegis of headquarter 5 sector AR/ HQ IGR North flagged in the tour at Kohima Garrison on today on November 6. The flag in was done by Major General Vikas Lakera, Sena Metal Inspector General SM Rifles. The team was welcomed by parents, teachers and students. Shared their experiences of the tour, teachers and students described the tour as an eye-opener and motivating. The team visited Indian Military Academy, Russia Indian Military College Forest Research Institute and Graphic Era deemed to be a university Dehradun. In addition, they also visited India Gate, Manik Shaw Center and other places in Delhi. The team also witnessed wreath laying at National War Memorial in New Delhi and paid homage to late Captain N. Kenguruse, MVC who hails from Kohima. Participants were felicitated with a souvenir and a group photograph. So I thank the Assam Rifles for this wonderful opportunity and making this journey very relaxing and amazing. 
I witnessed so many wonderful things and I also got the chance to meet some interesting people on a journey from all walks of life. So this will be cherished in our minds, in our life. Culture, our diverse culture, identity. And indeed, within these 10 days of our exposure journey visiting various different places, we are now encouraged, motivated, and thrilled to undertake the rediscovery of our rich Indian culture. They have never stepped out of Kohima. And it was an amazing experience for all of them traveling from here, from bus to traveling by train up to Delhi and then going to Dehradun. It was an amazing experience. I want to share my experience and the amazing journeys that we have during these 10 days. <coughs> With full of excitement, we have uh, started our journey on 27 of October 2022 and reached Delhi on 29th. We had a great time watching movies in traders and eating street foods and the night out in the Delhi. Addressing the gathering, IG Lakera exhorted the students to do well in their career and increase their aspirations. He also thanked the school principals and parents for encouraging their children. The participants and their parents also thanked the Sam Rifles for their support and initiative and look forward for more such exposure in the future. Nearly 50 million doses of Bharat Biotech's COVID-19 vaccine, Covaxin lying with the firm, are set to expire early next year as there are no takers owing to poor demand, company sources said. Due to lack of product demand, the production stoppage of Covaxin, a two-dose jab, was initiated by Bharat Biotech earlier this year. Though the vaccine maker has established manufacturing to reach and annualize capacity of 1 billion doses at the end of 2021. Bard Biotech has more than 200 million doses of Covaxin in bulk form and approximately 50 million doses in vials ready to use. Due to lack of product demand, production stoppage of Covaxin was initiated several months ago, earlier this year, sources told media. Covaxin doses in vials are set to expire during early 2023, resulting in losses for the company, sources further said. However, the quantum of loss to Bard Biotech could incur in the event of all the 50 million doses expiring next year is not known. India reported 1,082 fresh COVID-19 cases on Saturday, while the number of active cases declined to 15,200 according to Union Health Ministry data. So far, 219.71 crore doses of COVID-19 vaccines, including Covaxin, have been administered under the nationwide vaccination drive. As the infection rate has been steadily declining globally, exports of Covaxin were negatively impacted with poor of take by foreign countries. A small passenger plane crashed into Lake Victoria as it was approaching an airport in Tanzania on Sunday morning. Lake Victoria, which is Africa's largest lake by area, was struck by the downed aircraft near Pukuba Airport. The plane had dozens of passengers on board as per officials, although the fatalities in the crash remains undetermined. Tanzanian airline company Position Air said the flight was coming from the coastal city of Dar es Salaam. Videos shared widely on social media showed the plane mostly submerged in the lake. Rescue efforts were underway following the crash. Singer and actor Aaron Carter, a teenage sensation in the early 2000s, was found dead on Saturday at his home in Southern California. Known for the hit song, I Want Candy, Aaron was 34. As per reports, the singer turned rapper and actor was found dead Saturday at his house in Lancaster, CA. His body was discovered in the bathtub. 
Carter began performing at age 7 and released his self-titled debut album in 1997 at age 9, selling a million copies worldwide. As per a report in TMZ, law enforcement sources said they received a call that a male had drowned in the tub, following which they dispatched homicide detectives to the scene. They added no information or evidence of foul play has been detected. Aaron's fiance Melanie Martin spoke to publication stating that it's going to be a journey to raise a son without a father, adding that as a family, they are still in the process of accepting the unfortunate reality. Arrested commander of SF-10 Battalion G.K. Langrai is remanded to seven days police custody after getting discharged from civil hospital. Langrai on Saturday said he should not be convicted before trial. Speaking to reporters after he was discharged from the Shillong Civil Hospital, Langrai said that he has full faith in the process of law to find out the truth whether he is involved or not in the alleged misappropriation of funds. Langrai said that he has just been saved by the grace of God from an ailment which was a threat to his life. He was arrested by CID on November 2nd for alleged involvement in the misappropriation of funds for construction of NERS PSAP facility at Sadar PS complex. Meanwhile, Home Minister Lakim Rimpo informed that Langrai has been put under suspension following his arrest. Um, let, let, let me try. Uh -huh. I, I just said for so, a minute. Please do not go to trial. I have just been saved by me. the grace of God. Please leave the way. Please leave the way. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, <clears throat> and, uh, <clears throat> and uh, crows uh, that uh, the which was a threat to my life on the uh, on the All Souls Day. Yeah, please. And we have objected to that one. Uh, however, the for the interest of the case, the court has given seven days of police custody and he will be produced on the 12th of, uh, 12th of November and uh, the court has directed the IO to ensure the safety of Mr. Yang Rai with regard to his health and his medication and has been directed to produce for, uh, for medical checkup every 48 hours. It has been the case has been discharged and person have been uh, arrested. So, the legal process will follow. He was already suspended. He was already suspended. Thank you. Thank you. That's all we have for now. Keep watching on Bill TV.